I'm gonna be doing a little Q&A video so you guys can get to know moi. Um, I always find, I just thought it was a bit funny that I have a couple of videos on my channel, but like, you don't know anything about me, so I think it's kind of interesting to know like the person behind the video and a little, little, little bit about them, kind of like a bit like their personal lives. Let's get right into it. How old are you? Um, I get really awkward when people ask my age because I feel like I'm getting to a stage in my life where people are going to be like, you really don't act your age. <laughs> so let me just bear it all and tell you I am 29 years old. <laughs> Clearly I'm going through a crisis because I feel a certain kind of way when I say my age. Also people don't tend to believe me because, I don't know, maybe I'm immature or I just kind of don't act my age, whatever it is, but I'm 29 and I'm staying 29, okay? Okay, next question is where are you from and where do you live? So I am, so in terms of ethnicity, I am Pakistani. In terms of nationality, I am British. And in terms of where do I live, I live in London City. There's no songs about London. Oh no, there is. Meet me in the London. Travis <laughs> Scott. I can't rap, so I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I live in London. I've lived in London all my life. I don't know any other place where I see myself living. I feel like if I was to live anywhere else, it would be like another cosmopolitan city, like New York, or I was gonna say Amsterdam. <laughs> I really don't see myself living there actually, but I'm very happy to live in London. What is your favourite clothing brand? Okay, my favourite clothing brand is so obvious. If you look at my channel, <laughs> there's only one place I basically go to. It's where I'm wearing my clothes from right now, and it is Zara. And I just love Zara because the clothes are really good. They fit me, um, and they're actually affordable. Um, and they just look good, and they're just so versatile. So I think everyone's favourite brand is Zara. It's like, it is what it is. Like. It is just the best and I can't deny it and I don't want to deny it. So yeah, much love for Zara. Okay, so someone asked me, what is your biggest fail? Um, I'm a bit of a loser. So I take the word fail quite literally. Um, although I've not failed anything, um, I would say I think one of my most kind of L's in life is probably not concentrating on my A-levels and really not revising and studying as hard as I should have. Um, so I didn't really do as well as I could have done, but in a way, although that was my biggest fail, it was my biggest lesson in life because I knew that if you really want to achieve something in life, you have to take it seriously. And I think after that, I kind of, my, my mind kind of woke up and I kind of looked, took life really seriously. And I really just wanted to do really well in life. I wanted to, so in that way, I ended up focusing on my um, on my degree really hard and I did really well my degree and I feel like if I hadn't done so badly my A-levels I probably wouldn't have taken things so seriously so in a way that was a lesson to be learned and it was a blessing in disguise so yeah to my mind I'd say not doing that well at my A-levels was one of my biggest fails so someone asked any plans about moving out and living by yourself um, now I am as I mentioned I'm Pakistani and living by yourself is not something <laughs> that we tend to do until we are married um which i don't really agree with because at the same time i don't feel like you need to have someone in your life to allow you to take the next steps in your life um so i would love to have my a place of my own i just i wouldn't even have to live there all day i just want my own little sanctuary my little bubble like to just kind of be myself and kind of start my life out um, so I'm hoping I meet someone and like I get married because as I mentioned I'm a bit old now um, but if finances suffice I would love to have a place of my own so hopefully inshallah in the next one to two years somehow I'll see myself moving out in one way or the other I've got a question what is your go-to foundation um, I have a skin tone which is for an Asian person and I think the only foundation which I feel has worked for my skin is probably uh, NARS and this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation but I mix this with the with the MAC Pro Wear Concealer because this is a bit too uh, dark for me um, so then it kind of gives me just the right skin tone but I, I think I need to try like the Huda Beauty I think Too Faced even do um, good foundations for people with like olive and like yellow uh, skin complexions so I think I'm going to give them a go because Mac, uh, NARS is good, but like it always comes off like on your face after a while. It's not like the most uh, 
like long wearing one. Okay, so someone asked me, what type of boy <laughs> do you like? Um, okay, I've spent a long time in my life not having a boy, which has enabled me to know what I want in life. What I thought I looked for was quite, I thought that was like, quite uh, like basic and I thought most people would be like that but it turns out it's a lot harder than what you think it is and that is someone who is ambitious so someone who doesn't kind of just like settle with what they get in life like someone who goes above and beyond and like really wants to achieve as much as they can someone who is an honest person honesty seems to be really hard to come by these days um, but for me it's very honest like I would prefer someone feeds me an ugly truth than a pretty lie. I don't care what is going on in that person's life or if they're embarrassed to tell me something, I would just prefer that they were honest. Um, and someone who is funny and finds me funny. I think humour is so important in a relationship because life is really serious and tough as it is and I just think you need to be able to bring out the best in each other. So I think through humour um, and you know ambition and just being honest with each other and if that can bring out like the best possible side of you guys I think that's so important um, and believe it or not I just can't find these three traits like I look for other things that like, I have to be attracted to the person and stuff but I think those three things are really important and I'm really hoping I come across someone who is like that because I've been waiting a long time man so another question I got is where do you see yourself in 10 years guys in 10 years I'm gonna be 39 years old <laughs> That, that's a bit of a scary thought. Um, by then, I definitely see myself married within that time, like, come on. Um, I think I should have produced all the babies that need be, um, and hopefully be financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically, in zen with everything that I wanted. No, but, but really in 10 years time, I feel like I should have achieved everything I set out to achieve, and that is for my business to be doing really well. Potentially have sold my business, um, I would have, I would love to sell my business, like I want to get it to a certain point where I can just kind of like sell it and, and live happily ever after and kind of just be a cool MILF, I guess, like I hope I still look okay at, at, at that age. Sorry, that question has really sent me into a spiral of overthinking because I'm like, damn, I'll be, I'll be old. So the last question is, how did you come up with the vision for Phantom Jewels? Phantom Jewels is my business that I established in 2015. It's basically a jewelry company and um, when I started it, um, I just loved jewelry. I used to be, I used to spend literally hours every night before I went to sleep on Pinterest, just seeing so much jewelry and I was just so excited by it. And I just didn't feel like there were any stores that kind of fulfilled this insatiable urge to like have like pretty jewelry and you know when you go to like Topshop or Zara or whatever like jewelry is very like it's like a second thought it was like never really the main thing and there was no real website back in those days which just focused on the jewelry that I liked I liked statement necklaces and uh, yeah I just like I really loved statement necklaces and I really wanted to like have a store which had statement necklaces so I was very like into like over the top kind of stuff and um, so that was the premise on which Phantom Jewels started but actually it's it's evolved into something completely different now it specializes in uh, sterling silver jewelry and it's like it's one of the rings that I'm wearing right now and it's just jewelry which I feel is so beautiful but is so affordable and everyone can wear and there's different styles for everyone um, so for me I have I have big dreams about it like I really want it to be like in stockists like Selfridges and um, Harvey Nicks, ASOS, the flagship store in Topshop, like I really feel like it can grow. So that's kind of like one of my like dreams, if it can really grow. So my vision was for something for people to like love, but it, it, to be affordable at the same time. Um, so I feel like I've achieved it, but obviously I have a long way to go, but I'm excited for what the future holds. I hope you enjoyed that little mini Q&A, that you got to know me a little bit better. If you have any other questions, then just leave them below. It was really interesting to read some of the questions because I feel like some of them really brought out, like they really made me think about my, my life, <laughs> basically. So if you like, you can also follow me on Instagram and my handle is at phantom underscore Amna. Um, other than that, if you have any other questions about me or if there are any questions that I maybe forgot to answer because I didn't want to make this video too long, just leave them below and I will answer them. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!